What's up everybody, OT for Tech here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at Liquipel 2.0 for the device of which Liquipel is coded on. In this case, it's an iPhone 5S. Now, just some background information on this technology. It is a liquid that gets converted to a gas while your phone is in a chamber that is airtight to basically go into the internals of your phone, making it water safe. You have to mail them your phone, and then they mail it back once it's been Liquipelled. And it comes back in a premium aluminum tin. Inside the tin, you'll find a tissue that has been coated with Liquipel as well so you can show off to your friends with the tissue and it's been you know shown in the Liquipel videos online so you can go online to the Liquipel website and check out what they do with the tissue and it also comes in a black microfiber type baggie inside the baggie is your phone and you'll notice on the very front of your phone it has a sticker which is in blue and black and it has six steps on the sticker these six steps are preventive measures in case your device comes in contact with liquid you need to make sure you follow these six steps otherwise you will void your warranty so if you drop your phone in water make sure you go through these six steps and then if it does not turn on make sure you inform them that you did do the steps and it will be covered under their one-year warranty device protection and they will either repair or replace your device along with you know re liquipelling your device so as you can see it turns on normal and the coating is actually so thin that you will not be able to notice it and you could put it under a microscope and still not notice it. It is a ridiculously small nano coating that coats the externals and internals of the phone, making it beat up. And this is that tissue that I was talking about. As you can see, I sprayed it with water and you can see the water just kind of beads up like if your car was freshly waxed and it rained. It's the same kind of concept except now on a tissue and also on your device. And it basically has the same effect on the internals. You drop your phone in the water, the water beads up on the internals, and it allows you to sit your phone upright and the water will basically just run through your device, making it water safe. Now they say water safe and not waterproof because it is not waterproof. They do not recommend you coming in contact with water or using your phone underwater by any means at all. So it's just for preventive measures and a oops case basis so if you accidentally get thrown in the pool things like that it'll help protect it and hopefully not ruin your device with water damage and we're just going to go ahead and do a quick test to demonstrate the effectiveness of liquipel as you can see i have a youtube video running on my phone and i'm putting it in my little contraption here to test the quality of liquipel and to find out how you know water safe this technology really is so let's go ahead and pour the water on the phone and see what happens and as you can see the phone is still running the video the only thing that happened in this process was that a the menu on youtube popped up but that is you know normal with a touch capacitive display it also works with or also does the same thing on um, waterproof cases like the life proof uh, free and the life proof nude you know whenever you expose it to water the touch capacitive kind of goes off and it'll just hit random buttons and that's just what happens but as you can see there's a couple bubbles coming from the ports where the water is actually seeping through the device but the video is still playing which is very nice and we'll just go ahead and do a close-up so you can see that there's actually no case on my phone it is just bare phone with the liquipel technology with the video still running on the phone and it seems to be working fairly well but i actually had a problem with my device after removing it out of the water i went ahead and dried it off and it seemed to be working okay but then slowly the touchscreen sensitivity started to get worse and worse and then i just powered off my device and let it sit for 72 hours to see if you know it would work itself out and it would not turn back on so i contacted liquipel and they recommended me putting it in a bag of rice for 72 hours and to dry up any water that might be still inside the device and that was the only way they were going to warranty it but then when I contacted them by email they basically said they don't recommend putting my phone in rice that's just their warranty provider so it was a big mess and a huge mix up but to you know cut things short I had to actually go into Apple and use my Apple Care to get a brand new phone and thankfully since the Liquipel nanotechnology was on my phone the sensors and the headphone jack or the internals of my phone did not go off the water sensors So they could not prove that it was water damage and I walked out with a free phone So as you can see here, this is just demonstration after removing my phone. You cannot see it turning on and once I plug it into the charger the Apple boot logo would come on and then it would just turn off and go consistently like this 
So going back and forth with Liquipel, you know, I've actually had a difficulty and they did not replace my device. They just kept leading me on and on. But eventually I got through to a very nice representative and he actually is willing to let me send my device, my new device in from Apple to get it re-Liquipelled and they are also giving me a $60 gift certificate to their store, which is very nice. And I feel actually, you know, okay about that. And they compensated me very well. So the price for this product is um, $69.99 or, $59 or $69.99, depending if you have a coupon. And you submit your device to them and they will mail it back. Now you do have to pay for shipping to return your device. And that is between $20 to $40, depending on how fast you want your shipping. Do I recommend this to someone who just wants to help prevent their phone from getting water damage sure i could see that if you're wanting to use your phone underwater with a minimal design case this is not the way to go as you can see liquipel recommends you dropping your phone in the water horizontally rather than vertically like i did and they said that is more based on a real world standard and the reason why mine did not work is because of the fact that it was vertical and it seeped into the display so to me that's not really worth the money go ahead and put that money towards a waterproof case if you wanting to use your device underwater if not go ahead and go for it so i appreciate you guys checking out this video go ahead and drop me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you everybody